Apex Legends is celebrating its fifth year anniversary, and Season 20 is bringing about a complete overhaul to the classic Battle Royale mode. Not only is Apex Legends getting a new performance 120 FPS mode for consoles, but also a new shield system, new leveling system and matches, and more. Here's what you need to know about Apex Legends Breakout. When playing Battle Royale in Ranked or Casual in Apex Legends, you will now be using a leveling system to unlock better shields and modified abilities. When entering a game, you'll enter at level 1 with a basic shield. When you do class actions, do damage, or get kills, you'll get XP that will increase your level. Additionally, you can find evil harvesters around the world that will grant your team 400 XP. Think of this system like the FPS version of League of Legends mash leveling. When your teammate performs a class action, you'll also get some points to your level. Class actions include support legends opening the extra support bins or controller legends scanning ring consoles. There are four total levels and each one comes with a shield upgrade and two modified abilities. At level two, you get a choice between two modified abilities and at level three, you get your final choice between two other modified abilities. These additions are meant to encourage different playstyles within the battle royale. When you do earn a level up, the prompt will come up on your screen and you can select your new modified ability immediately or open your inventory screen and select from there later. I'm upgraded and ready to jam. Evo Shields were the previous iteration where you could earn new shield levels by doing specific amounts of damage. The new shield will now only upgrade through the new XP level system in each match. When you earn a new level, your shield will upgrade and you'll earn a new pip or bar. And after you hit a new level, your shield will also automatically regenerate slowly, but will pause if you take damage. Shields are no longer lootable in the world. The new name for the shields are shield cores. When you kill an enemy, you can loot their shield core, so the previous shield swapping is still something you can do. However, if the enemy has a shield core that's higher than your current shield, you'll only take an extra pip as a temporary overshield that will go away if you take damage. For example, let's say you're only level 2 and pick up a level 3 shield core. You'll get that full 3 bars, but the 4th bar will be temporary. There are items throughout the map that will instantly grant level ups, but they're a bit rare, so the best way to go about increasing your shield permanently is by leveling. Along with the new leveling system and shield system, a few mechanics have been adjusted to the battle royale. The crafters will no longer require any materials to craft, but instead will also no longer hold a weekly and daily rotation of weapons or attachments. Instead, the crafter will only be able to produce medkits, ammo, shield batteries, and respawn manners if your party has a support legend. You can only use a crafter once, but the time to craft is almost immediate. If you spend too much time outside of the ring in Season 20, you'll be prompted to get back into the safe zone with a timer that counts down overhead. So don't think you can get away with looting or healing in the zone to cheese your matches. How are you feeling about these new Battle Royale changes? Let us know! For more Apex news, be sure to stay right here at IGN.